The new world, okay, because we are in the new world. And that was the problem in, in being in the old world in Europe, that I felt that I didn't belong there, I belonged here. And after 500 years, we can start looking at the world from our standpoint, not from theirs. <laughs> My name is Edouard duval -Carrier. I'm an artist, curator, uh, lived in Miami for the last uh, 24 years. I was uh, living uh, uh, before, before moving to Miami in Paris and uh, I felt that I had no contacts with my uh, base, which was probably, I mean, which is the Caribbean, Haiti, I'm from Haiti originally, and I found that Paris was uh, uh, not where I wanted to be, and New York, when I went to New York, I didn't feel I, f I fit there either. We came to visit uh, because my brother uh, was here studying, and I quite liked it, and particularly the, the beach part of it. Immediately looked into it and bought a house and here we were. And after, v very shortly after, because of the kids in the house destroying my work, I looked for someplace else to, 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 to work and I found the, the South Florida Art Center and I went by, I backed there every day <laughs> for years. <laughs> As you see here, it's mostly, it's more like a lab than anything else. I'm very interested in contemporary arts. I'm very, very interested in, the, in the, how I work it. Uh, I haven't found my medium yet. So I'm always trying different things. I'm always playing with things. And that's what keeps me alive. I first discovered or heard about the, the art center because a friend of mine from Paris was a Dominican artist, very well known, paid me a visit. And he said, I have to introduce you to a very good friend of mine. And I met Miss Charo Oquette, Ms. Charo Oquette, and we've been dear friends ever since. And she was the one to say, you better move, you know, like to the art center. There were so many different things happening at the same time. Imagine that the, that the whole road was accessible to artists and the center was like the hub for, you know, like either incoming artists, others that were there for a long time. And we did quite a lot of uh, projects uh, where we not only we invited artists from the center, I mean, I really wanted to make sure that other artists from the, from, from the city uh, were, you know, like, were part of this. That's the word for the, I mean, it was all inclusive. You understand? That's the, the whole idea behind the center that I really espoused. And really, they taught me that. And I try to be in my life also, you know, like to be as discerning and, but at the same time, as inclusive as they are. I'm always uh, trying something different and pushing my work in one way or another. But definitely one thing that is constant in my work is the fact that I'm very interested in the region, not only you know, like in the Caribbean or in Haiti per, per se, but I'm now, now very much interested in the whole region as a whole. South Florida being not south really, it's more like North Caribbean. <laughs> I try to make sure that there's a bridge somewhere and that I can talk to both sides because I'm not, you know, like preaching to one particular choir, you know, I'm preaching to both Haiti, which I'm very critical of, as well as the United States and elsewhere. I feel that I bring a, a level of discussion concerning Haiti at the visual level that I very seldom I have seen. I, I'm very interesting because I don't understand it. I mean, and I'm just trying to understand that place, the relationship it has with its neighbors. Michael Richards, very handsome uh, young man who danced like a god. Okay, that's what I remember. Everybody had to stop, you know, because he could dance better than anybody else. And of course, his work was quite surprising. And I'm sure he would have been one of the great artists, you know, like of, of his generation, uh, of our generation, because I think he was not that much younger than me. Somebody has looked at your work and thought it was meaningful. So, I mean, what more can, can one expect out of life? I'm delighted that they have done that. It makes me very proud of having lived here for all, this, all these years and to know that I made the right decision 24 years ago to just join the crowd here. I love this city. <laughs>